one goes out to the entire world. That's right. Steve from Overdrive, and how can I help you? Really? You want to know how to restring a five string bass? Stay tuned. So, here we have it five string bongo. A wonderful, wonderful thing. Now, Pete, as this is probably your base, yes, do you want these strings anymore? No, I don't. Good. Saves me a lot of time. Baby, you're my language, baby. Taking those off. I'm using a nice set of strings here. Ideally matched this particular instrument. Purely because it's an any ball bass, why not use any ball strings? It's a big bucket of sand. And also a little side note, Steve, when I was down at oh, the factory... Oh, talking about tension! Yes, I actually got a chance to ask uh, Sterling Ball and Dudley Gimple, the designer of the Stingray 5 bass, just how they got their 34-inch scale. Because the Ball bass, I'm not using the ball screens. Big bucket of sand! And also a little side note, Steve, when I was down oh, at the factory... Oh, talking about tension! Yes, I actually got a chance to ask uh, Sterling Ball and Dudley Gimple, the designer of the Stingray 5 bass, just how they got their 34-inch scale B-string so tight. And they definitely said that part of the formula was this set of strings, and in particular, a 130 on the B. Um, so Typically in a gauge set like that, you'd expect to see a 125. Anyway, I think I'm going to put the first string in, and these have a sort of almost traditional fender-like tuner, uh, split post, with a hole down the center. Get into an angle for that? Yes, you can. And the posture. We're there. Excellent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the string off a couple of inches past the tuner here. I'm going to insert the crimp end of the string into that hole and then just bend it over one side. And quite simply, start winding. Now I'm going to ensure the string winds downwards. That way, get a nice break angle over the nut, good open string top. You get all that? I got it. Excellent. And another thing I will say about say it, uh, Pete. winders and posts in particular, like this, you can see the taper on them, like Steve was talking about, and that ultimately helps pull the string down close to the bottom of the post as you're winding. Trim. The end of the hole. Down. Oh, okay. I ask you so high, you so alive, you got the good juice. As you can see, I'm having to reach around to get this one. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> oh yes, I always have to reach around when I'm putting... <laughs> At this point in time... <laughs> I'd like to, to thank Dudley, actually Leo Fender with the 3 plus 1 trademarked headstock, as well as um, 
Sterling and Dudley with a continuation of a 4 plus 1 headstock design for the reach around on Allow the G. Me, dude. And like that, we're done. Yeah. Adios.